Hey guys, this is sad news. According to page six, Neil Leake's son, who is 23 years old, Brent Leakes, reportedly suffered a heart attack and a stroke early this month. So I guess she was keeping it under wraps, but now she wants the public to know. The lounge owner who appeared alongside his mom, he owns a lounge, folks. He appeared along alongside his mom on Real Housewives of Atlanta, was transported to a hospital immediately after the medical emergency. So TMZ reported on Monday that Brent spent several days in the hospital, but has since been released and is in rehab and hoping to make a full recovery. So you know when you're in rehab and you have a stroke or a heart attack, sometimes there's a part of your body that can't function properly. Either your left side or your right side, maybe you can't talk properly, walk properly, use your hands properly. So you got to go to rehab to learn those skills all over again. So he's hoping to make a full recovery, sources says. So Nini, who is 54, has not issued a statement on her son's health, but I'm sure she's going to be doing so shortly. So the rep did not immediately return to page six with any further news about Nini's son Brent's condition because page six requested an update. But I guess as the rehab facility tells them the update, they would release it to the press. But you know, in today's climate with HIPAA laws in place where the hospital or the rehab center cannot release sensitive information, meaning personal information about a patient, so any updates would have to come from the PR representing the family, either Brent's um, PR rep or Nini, her rep, or the family themselves, because the rehab or the hospital is not going to release that information to the press or any other person requesting information, that type of personal information on Nini's son. So I would think the press is also included in, in that, where they're not giving out that type of information so freely anymore to the news media. It would have to be a PR for the family or the family themselves, like I said before, because HIPAA laws are very strict when it comes to stuff like that. And the hospital or any facility, like a rehab center, can be sued if they give out that personal information. And I would think if they give it to the press, it would be the same thing, that the personal information was given out. So if page six wants to get any update, they have to go directly to the PR for the family or the family themselves, like Nini or Brent, give them the information. But I could be wrong. You guys drop it in the comment section. If I'm wrong, let me know the reason why. So Brent has also not posted about the reported stroke and heart attack and did not immediately respond to page six's direct messages. Well, how can he respond when he's laid up in the bed doing his rehab and is recovering? So sometimes I think these news medias are, you know, they're, they're not understanding of the situation. I wonder if they know that this man if he just suffered, if anybody just suffered a heart attack or a stroke, they're laid up in the bed, heavily medicated. Um, they're checking them, all kinds of blood work. They are busy. The hospital staff is, is very busy trying to stabilize that person, trying to check and recheck all the lab results to make sure the stroke or the heart attack does not come again. And it's a constant just monitoring. So they ain't got no time for no news outlet like page six to give them updates. What page six should be doing is calling the, um, the family's PR person or Nini, but not Brent because Brent is sick in the hospital or now the rehab center. He's sick in the rehab center trying to make a full recovery. I guess they were reaching out to the representative 
of Brent and Nene. I guess that's what they were doing, but he did not get any updates. So the last post, Brent, who is a club owner, the last post that he shared on Instagram was a playful video with Nene that he captioned, name a better mother, son duo, I'll wait. And that was on September the 10th. But it's sad news, guys, because he's a young man. So in the meanwhile, the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Nene Leakes, had not given any indication that she had been dealing with this personal matter on her social media. So she didn't say anything on her social media. So Nene most recently posted on Instagram. Her most recent post on Instagram was shared on October the 3rd and is a series of glamorous shots of herself. And she captioned it by saying, Pipe, swipe, here, 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 she, here, she, me. With a big smile, lipstick smile. But I would think if your son is in the hospital, you don't have time to get on social media and further glamorize yourself. You are so busy with your young son trying to make sure that he's okay. That I, I would think the last thing on your mind. Maybe Nini is relief, reliving some of her youth. What you guys think? Drop it in the comment section. So her latest tweet was of her thanking her fans for complimenting her on being a huge part of the housewife franchise. Because you know she's no longer a housewife, but she loved to say that she helped launch the whole franchise with her antics. And um, so according to TMZ, Brent has a long road before he is able to have a full recovery. So guys, apparently this is very, very serious in terms of him talking properly again and maybe walking etc so the mother son duo have been through difficult times in the past year after the death of greg leaks nini's late husband and brent's father oh my goodness that is something isn't that something how that happens one parent dies and sometimes the other parent is close to death or some member of the family because I know it happened in my family when my mother passed away we almost lost one of our nephews like a, a month or two after because we didn't even know he had a heart condition that needed to be corrected so I'm telling you guys you got to pay attention to your family member because you don't know the silent killers and I want you guys to remember the silent killers are diabetes hypertension that's what brent had that you know that's why he got a heart attack and a stroke he had that hypertension but pay attention diabetes because you know when you have diabetes you can lose a limb you know because of the poor circulation your toe may get gangrenous and you may have a toe a foot chopped off and the next one is high cholesterol because you know if your arteries are clogged with that fat it's going to be hard for you to survive so those are the three silent killers because you never know you have it until the symptoms start appearing and sometimes it's too late you know you might lose a limb if you're diabetic if if you don't catch it early if you don't catch the hypertension early you got a heart attack or a stroke if you don't catch your cholesterol early and you got block arteries, then that is, you know, you're, you're done. That's going to be a stroke or a heart attack in the making. So, so we are sending our prayers out to Nini and her family. And we hope a quick and speedy recovery for Brent. So while I was making this video, a uh, notice came on about Nini Leakes making a statement. The first statement about this heart attack that her son suffered heart attack and stroke so here's the audio if we knew the cause obviously they could treat the cause um it's, it was very scary um, um I, I don't even want to go into detail 
tons of emails. Everybody's asking and concerned about Brent, and uh, we thank you guys so much. Um, uh, this is not the way I wanted it to come out. Uh, we wanted to be able to talk about it ourselves when Brent was in a better place. Um, so here I am because I, I, I would rather the correct thing be out there than something that's not correct. Uh, two weeks ago today, uh, Brent had congested heart failure and a stroke. Uh, he's only 23, so he's really young for something like that to happen to him. Um, the first thing, you know, a lot of doctors think of when someone that age come in with that kind of condition is maybe they have done drugs or maybe they have some serious infection, maybe HIV or some sort of infection is what I'm being told by the doctors. Brent doesn't drink or do drugs. And obviously they've tested him for all of those things. They also tested him for HIV. Um, they were thinking that um, maybe he had caught COVID and he didn't know that he had COVID. Um, they did see, the doctors are saying they did see some Things like that happen if they caught the Delta variant, and he never knew he had COVID. Um, I've never known him to have COVID, um, so they have run a number of tests on him to see what could have possibly made this happen to him, and. Uh, we are still trying to figure out, because if we knew the cause, obviously they could treat the cause. Um, it, was, it was very scary. Um, um, I, I don't even want to go into details of what happened and how I found out. Well, guys, Nini mentioned some very important things. She mentioned the fact that they ran a test for HIV, they did a drug screening test, COVID, the new variant, um, hereditary factor, that's a big one. Because since Nini had those blood clots and she had problems um, breathing, etc., when she was in the hospital, it might be a hereditary factor. And in terms of the drug angle, uh, a lot of people take offense when they have to check for drugs. But they have to check for drugs. They have to rule everything out because a lot of times these young kids are into so much stuff, but they don't let the parents know. So the parents think, oh, that's my little boy, my little girl. They're squeaky clean and never did drugs a day in their life. I come and find out they're hooked. Okay? So they have to do all those screening tests. That's why it's called screening. So for all you mothers and fathers out there, when your child is sick, they go to the hospital and they run these battery tests on them. Don't take it personal. They have to do it in order to rule out what it's not to get to what it is. So let's continue to listen to Nini's audio. Condition he was in, um, obviously a stroke is a very serious thing. And so um, he's struggling, you know, with speaking and um is is know that uh, keep us in your prayers. Um, uh, keep bringing your prayers. Uh, so many people uh, he, he, uh, texting and emailing me about the lounge. Uh, the lounge is still open. You know, Brent ran the lounge. That was his pride and joy. He loved it. Um, and guys, let me tell you something. Stress could be a contributing factor because he ran that lounge. Then he said it was his pride and joy, so I'm sure he was there every single day, although he's got managers. So he probably was there with, you know, a fine tooth comb, making sure everything was okay. Everything was A-OK. -okay. All the T's were crossed and the I's were dotted, but guess what? That causes stress, okay? And especially if you have a pre-existing condition or let's say you have hereditary factors, that contributed to this heart attack and and this stroke. And then on on top of that, you got all this stress going on. And Nini did say it's the the month of the passing of his father last month. 
September, Ben Gregg, you know, it was his anniversary, the passing, so he was dealing with that also. So it was a lot of stress, and if he's got a pre-existing condition with his heart, or let's say he's got block arteries, maybe clots um, that led to the heart or the brain or something being affected, well, that stress will build up and it will cause a heart arrhythmia, which will lead to a heart attack. And he had double whammy because he had the heart attack as well as a stroke, which can be caused by a blood clot. Without blood going to the tissue, it loses oxygen and it dies. So there you go. That's what causes a heart attack. So what is a heart attack, folks? According to the Mayo Clinic, it is a blockage of blood flow to the heart. And we get to what is a stroke. A stroke is an interruption of blood supply to the brain. And if you have an interruption of blood supply, supply to your brain, then you're going to have a lack of oxygen and you're going to have a stroke. So now we get to what causes a stroke. Remember, the stroke is an interruption of blood supply to the brain, which causes a lack of oxygen and um, you suffer a stroke because the brain cannot survive without oxygen, right? So there are two main causes of a stroke, a block artery. You, if your artery is blocked, then that blood supply is not going to the brain. and uh, No oxygen. And another way a person can get a stroke is if you have leaking or bursting of a blood vessel. This is all according to the Mayo Clinic, okay? So leakage or bursting of a blood vessel can give you a stroke also. You suffer a stroke, and that's called a hemorrhagic stroke. So there are different kinds of strokes. But getting back to Nini and her statement. So Nini is now talking about a lounge because that was Brent's baby. He read it. And she was also a partner along with some other people and, and um, I believe Greg, she said. But she's saying that she wants to sell it because it would be too much for him now, knowing that he's got this heart condition. Uh, she wants to sell it. So if anybody's interested in buying the lounge, hit Nini up. So here's Nini. It is still open. Uh, the managers are still running it with the regular hours. Um, we have, you know, sat and talked about selling the lounge now because it's something that Brent runs along with me, and I got in the business with Brent and Greg and some other friends to do it. And uh, this is just a lot right now on me. Uh, so, um, if there's anybody out there that's possibly interested in the lounge, uh, send them my way if they are interested in purchasing it. It's very possible that we will sell the lounge, um, because it is something that I shared with Brent after Greg's passing. So, uh, just send me an email to bookmini at gmail.com and we, uh, the right people or persons, I will point them in point you in their direction and they can um, speak to you about it then but right now the lounge is still open their regular days um, Brent FaceTime me this morning he's in uh, good spirits uh, we just are just shocked just shocked uh, but I thank all of you guys for your 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 prayers everybody's just emailing can they send flowers please don't um i honestly would prefer um um we do prefer balloons and um i don't know all of this is still so new to me and, I, and we're not revealing where brent currently is um I, because it's so new I'm, I'm going to you know get some of my people that are working with us to maybe find something that you guys can um, donate to that can help with this kind of situation. If you remember some years ago, I had blood clots in my lungs and we could not figure out where it came from. So they're thinking that maybe Brent was born with some sort of disease or or something with his 
his heart since he was a kid and uh it just never showed up until now like we we don't know this is just a lot for us right now um and everything is still very new um I'm telling you guys, a young person can be born with a heart condition and not know it until they got a heart attack. Because I know in of two cases in my family. First, it was my nephew. He had a heart condition. Nobody knew. He was like 22. And he could not breathe walking up the steps. And my sister took him to the hospital because he could not breathe. He was short-winded. And they found that he had, he had a heart condition that was hereditary, you know, and um, with my sister-in-law, she was born with a hole in the heart. I never knew it until one day she went playing tennis and she fell out. They took her to the hospital, found out she had a hole in the heart. So you grow up with these things, with these conditions, but unless you put your body into a stressful mode, like walking up and down steps and you are really stressing your body or running or playing tennis, you know, anything to push that um, heart into overdrive and then you show symptoms. And it, and it may not have bothered you in the past showing these symptoms, but as you get older, it becomes more problematic. So yes, a young person can have heart conditions that they were born with and they don't know about it. You know, I've been asked a, a million questions by everybody that's hitting me up you know could his weight have been the issue the doctors say they don't think so um they've asked you know just i I don't know i've just been asked (laughs) so many things and i'm just i'm baffled I, i i am baffled um i don't know how the doctors can tell her the weight would not be an issue but i guess they say the weight is not an issue because he's so young. But a lot of young people who are obese have a lot of fat around that heart that can be problematic, um, push that heart into um, a problem with, with getting a heart attack too. So it's either the weight, hereditary, uh, stress. It could be a combination of all. You know, it could be a combination of everything. So, guys, you can weigh in on this also and and voice your opinion. And if you have any members in your family or you yourself who have had a heart condition or a stroke, what was the remedy for you and what did the doctor say about the condition? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to know. It's a lot. So just keep praying and I will, you know, speak to you guys whenever I can. Um, Again, he has shown some improvement and uh, we're really happy and blessed for that. Um, Just keep us in your prayers. Send me an email to booknini at gmail.com. If you know anyone that's interested in getting into the nightlife and they may consider the Lanithia Lounge, we put a lot into it. It's a beautiful place. Maybe Peter might be interested in it. Cynthia's ex-husband. You remember Peter Thomas, folks? He, he's always buying up lounges and bars and restaurants and trying to make a go of it. He might want to buy this one because it got everything in it, according to Nini. It has a staff. It's up and running, and it's got everything. He don't have to do a thing but buy it, and the managers are already there to run it. It's a win-win situation. I guess the price would be the problem, though, depending on how much Nini wants to sell it for. Uh, Thank you, guys, again, for all of your uh, love and support. And uh, I will be back on here talking to you guys again. Uh, uh, I was just looking at some of my text messages, and everybody becomes a doctor, I think, during this time. You know, they try to tell you, you know, what to do, what not to do, and... Of course, everybody becomes a doctor at this time, even me. <laughs> you know, I'm running my mouth like if I know. But the bottom line is you listen to the doctors, whatever they have to say. Do not listen to the public because we're just voicing our opinions. We don't know. We're not doctors. Um, all of those kind of things. Um, uh, I'm being asked a million questions, but um, 
one of the things I do know, uh, Brent was very stressed out in the month of September because that was the one year anniversary for the passing of his dad. Uh, he was very close to his dad and he's been super stressed out over it. And uh, I don't even know if that has anything to do with it at all. I mean, I really ask the doctors really questions like that. Of course, that's a, an issue. Stress is a big issue when it comes to a heart attack, along with obesity, along with um, a number of things like hereditary factors. So the doctors need to be on the up and up with Nini. And they seem to think that that is not the case with Brent. So many people keep asking me about his weight. They, they, I'm like... He is not as big as I don't think that people think he is. He's a super tall guy. And, um, and the doctors say that it's not that either. So this is something else that we're dealing with that we, the doctors don't even know yet. Um, it could have been one of those very rare conditions that are very slow to surface. You know, as the person grow, then it becomes more acute. And the person is aware of it. And then it's a sudden onset that all of a sudden they get this heart attack or this brain aneurysm that's been festering, slowly building, and then one day it just explodes. So who knows? But we're going to find out. Nini's going to put out a statement later on to let us know, I'm sure. But let's continue with the audio. So I don't know. I will just... You know, just keep praying that we find the cause because once we find the cause, we're able to treat the cause, and obviously, that's what we want to do. Um, um, I will come back again whenever I can because I can't answer all texts or the emails that, so I'd rather just talk on here and, and uh, yeah, but uh. Thank you, guys. Uh, we do have a lot of support. A lot of people there are uh, asking, but we could use all the support we can get. Brent has a lot of great bonus fans that are surrounding him right now. And uh, so we thank you, guys. YouTubers, drop your comments in the comment section and send out your prayers for Nini's young son. In this time of troubles, this type of troubles, what can you say to a parent? You know, except to send prayers out in the universe that God will touch this individual and bring him through. That's all you can do. Because he's so long, young, he's only 23, and to have both, not one, one of these things will kill a person. To have two is really devastating. So, folks, continue to send prayers out for Brent and uh, give your loved ones, your kids, big hugs, that they're safe, okay? I'm over and out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my video and to my channel. Thank you for watching.